Absolutely. All right, final question. Uh, you've said elsewhere that you are voting for Green, can Green Party candidate Jill Stein, who I actually interviewed, uh, rather than Barack Obama. How come? Well, I supported uh, Barack Obama in you know, 2008. I, I contributed to his campaign. I was so I was very excited about him. I thought he was a moderate. Uh, I thought that his election would promote racial healing in the country. It would be, it'd be a tr tremendous uh, transformation of, of attitudes. Uh, and instead, um, there's been one thing after another, not least I consider him one of the most now racially divisive and polarizing figures in, ever. Okay? I think it's going to take years to, to, to um, uh, you know, undo the damage he's done to the to relations between the races. But beyond that, um, I'm just sick and tired of ed endless war. Okay? I, I, I was in favor of bombing the hell out of the Afghanistan mountains after 9-11, you know, but I would never have, have, have agreed to this uh, land war in, in Afghanistan, this endless land war, as well as things like the Libyan incursion okay, that, that Obama appears to have been pushed into by, by, this, by these women like Hillary Clinton and, and Samantha Power. Right? Um, the, 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 the chaos of the foreign policy, the, the bowing to foreign leaders, the, um, the, 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 also the Obamacare. We need, of course we need health care reform in this country. What a mess. Every, everyone agrees about that. But the Obamacare is, to me, a Stalinist you know, intrusion okay, into American culture, the, the creation of the of you know of this uh, culture of surveillance from from these bureaucracies, which is also also um, carried over into uh, Obama's endorsement of drones on the military level, as well for police you know control of the population. I mean, I don't understand how any uh, fellow veteran of the 1960s who's a Democrat could not see the dangers here. Okay, that 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 Obama is a statist. It's exactly what Bob Dylan was warning about in Subterranean Homesick Blues. Okay, All right, we don't we don't want to get government agencies being empowered to intrude into people's lives like this. I mean, the, you know, the, the, the controlling force in Obamacare is the IRS, okay? And this, is, this, this flies in the face of, of, of what, what the free speech movement was about at Berkeley or, or about, about any of the values, I, I feel, of my generation. So I, I feel that my, the Democratic Party needs to be, needs to be shattered and remade and, and to, to recover its, its true progressive roots. I don't regard this, uh, you know, I, I don't see progressives, okay? Who, what, all I see is, is white, upper-middle-class liberals who speak in this in this in this unctuous way about the need or needs of the poor? They have no connection whatever with the working class. Okay, it's, it's the professional class gone amok, and that's why they don't notice. You know what a bureaucratic nightmare Obamacare is. Yeah, that's that's Joel Cuck and talks about the gentry liberals taking over, and I think that's exactly yes. right. Yes, yes. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us well, here. Thank you for the invitation, Glenn. Thank you. And the book is Glittering Images: A Journey Through Art from Egypt to Star Wars, and it's Camille Paglia, who's a university professor of arts and media studies at the University of Arts in Philadelphia.